All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at a trap card that I am wondering why they made. So this is Wonder Exceeds. Uh, it's a really simple trap card, double trap card that reads, immediately after this effect resolved, Exceed summon one Exceed monster using monsters you control. Okay, and what does that do? I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand what the point of this is. So of course it's the Exceed version of uh, Urgent Tuning. And uh, who plays Urgent Tuning? Yeah, no one. So, what's up with this? Well, I, I, like, I don't understand. I don't understand. So, I was actually sitting down trying to think about when you would ever use this kind of situation. Because you already neg from Xing. You know, same thing with uh, Synchro. And you already neg. You take, uh, you know, presumably, uh, two Xing mon two uh, same monsters at the same level. Next, see them. So, you take two things and make them to one. You neg. When you could just do that on your own, why would you have to play a card like this? Well, I was sitting here thinking, and I was like, either you're A, pushing for more damage. Like, that, that's the thing. So, you're like, alright, attack with the level 4, attack with the level 4, uh, wonder exceeds, exceed those two, and then attack so you can exceed during your battle phase. Or, you can exceed, of course, during your opponent's turn. But, what are you exceeding into on your opponent's turn? There's not a lot of, uh, you know, quick play monsters. And why don't you just exceed those monsters during your turn? Like, and not take the neck on top of the neck, you know? So, I was like, okay, well, you, you can go into a quick play monster. Whether that be, you know, depending on what levels you're on. You can go into, like, a Felgrand or, like, a Dora or... Uh, not X Ton anymore, but I don't know. Giant Hand when it gets reprinted, you know, just monsters that can use their effects during either player's turn. So you would have that monster effect to be used during your opponent's turn. Because if not, I mean, there's really no point. Were you going to wonder if season two cast out during your opponent's turn? Now what? <laughs> you can't activate cast out effects during your opponent's turns. I don't know what you're doing. Like that, that wasn't the smartest idea. Uh, so obviously you're going to be doing uh, on a quick effect during your opponent's turn. But then you have the slight chance of. Uh, uh, being off time, especially when a monster has like an ignition effect, you know, for example, if they uh, summon a monster that immediately does something as soon as it's the field, I mean, you'll miss, you know, for example, let's just go with Skull Crowbat Joker, when he's normal summon, you get to go ahead and get the search, so your opponent goes normal summon Skull Crowbat Joker, you know, when Skull Crowbat Joker hits the field, he's going to activate his effect to search, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to wonder if he's my two monsters into giant hand, and then I'm going to negate him, no, because you go, he's going to go summon, I'm going to go my effect to search, he's going to wonder if he's chain, that's fine. You go into your giant hand, chain resolve backwards, so Wonder Exceeds will make the giant hand, and then Skull Crowbat Joker will get to search. So, <laughs> yeah. It would have to be a trigger effect. So, for example, your opponent goes normal summon, you know, bear with a tanky. You go Wonder Exceeds, go into giant hand. Then they go, alright, bear effect, send the tanky. Then you go giant hand. So, it doesn't really work on ignition effects, but only trigger effects. But still, it's just, you know, it's just really so. And keep in mind, you're negging. Keep in mind, you are negging. Because... You start off with your two, your two monsters and Wonder Exceeds. So you have three cards. You play Wonder Exceeds, and then you make those two monsters the one monster. So you went from having three cards to one card. Good job. <laughs> you know? So I really hope it's worth it. And like I said, majority of the time when you exceed or you want some exceed monsters, you want them on your turn. I just, I just don't understand what monster you would want to be made on your opponent's turn that you couldn't just make on your own turn. I mean, I guess maybe it's the element of surprise, I guess. But still, I <laughs> just... I don't understand, like, you know, you have, like, two monsters, and your opponent tries to, like, compulse one, you can hop out the way in Wonder Exceeds, but, you know, if it's one of them broad hitters, you know, Chain is all backwards, so you're gonna get hit anyway, so, don't think that, oh, I have my two level four monsters in Wonder Exceeds, your opponent play Regeki, don't think that, you're like, oh, well, if I play Wonder Exceeds, then it'll miss my monsters, and my Exceed monster will be fine, no, because Chain is all backwards, so, you, your opponent goes Regeki, you go Chain Wonder Exceeds, you take your two monsters, make an Exceed monster, and then that monster gets Regeki, so, I don't understand. Uh, the other thing I was thinking, maybe under the the, the pretense of uh, Maxi, that's what I was thinking. Maybe Maxi, which instead of giving yourself your opponent uh, even, you would make them neg because you know Maxi would wear off, then you would exceed, but then you would also be taking a neg, you know. So usually you go, all right, I have two level fours on the field, you know, I have level four, I summon level four, response to my summon, you'd be like, all right, Maxi, oh, well, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to see something because now you're gonna go ahead and draw a card, which would make you even out as if you were playing an upstart goblin. Ooh! So uh, you know, sometimes you want to go ahead and you have to push to make the see, but sometimes you don't. So instead, you'll just leave them alone and let your opponent take the neck off the max C. Because uh, you know, of course, there is no chain when it comes to uh, responding uh, 
with them inherent summons, whether it be a pendulum summon, the XC summon, or synchro summon, there is no response. It's not like you, you go, all right, I have two level fours. Response to my summon on um, my second level four? No? All right, I'm going to XC summon. Your opponent can't go, all right, oh, Max C, oh, let me draw a card. Like, no, 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 no. You can't do that, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it happens a lot with pendulum summon, a lot. It's like, set my pendulum scale, is that okay? Yeah. Set my pendulum summon, uh, scale, is that okay? Yeah. Pendulum summon my monsters. Max C, and then they draw a card, like, what are you doing? Like, there, there's no time in between for you to play your Max C. You know, there's no chain to my pendulum summon. It's just a mechanic. I pendulum summon. That's it. You know, so you can pendulum summon at the resolution of my. <laughs> I mean, you can max it at the, the resolution of my uh, pendulum summon. But unless I'm planning on doing other types of summons, you're gonna take the net because you're not drawing off of that. So that's uh, so what I'm thinking. That you know, you have you summon your your two level fours and your opponent maxes you because they predict that you're gonna exceed. You can be like, all right, you know what, screw it. I'm not going to exceed. I'm not going to allow you plus. I'm just going to set my wonder exceeds and pass to you. Now, during your turn, you know, depending on what monster you wanted to go for, for example, giant hand, you want to have the giant hand to lock down your opponent, you can be like, all right, wonder exceeds. Now, these two monsters are going to turn into the giant hand that I was going to do last turn, but instead of allowing you to draw, you're going to take the neg off the max seed, but I'm going to take the neg off the wonder exceeds. So, we're everybody just neg, all right? So, that, I just, I don't understand. So, it just seems like maybe like, Cute little things during your opponent's turn, or just more damage in the battle phase. That's the, really the only thing I can think, because I, I, it just seems like much more practical. I wish I had more precedence with urgent tuning, but no one played that card. And since no one played that card, I just really couldn't think of, you know, pretty much the same exact situation, just a different mechanic, you know? I mean, what's next, you know? Uh, super Pendulum or something? You, you'll be able to, uh, you know, Pendulum summon during your opponent's turn? That wouldn't be too terrible, though. It wouldn't be too terrible, depending on which situation you're in. Because, of course, you know, Pendulum Monsters just got to go back to Actual Deck when they're... You know, as long as you're Pendulum Summoning Pendulum Monsters, you know. Uh, you know, just be like, oh, I'm about to get attacked and get gamed. All right, well, Super Pendulum, or whatever you call it. I get to Pendulum Summon during your turn. I'm going Pendulum Summon all these monsters to block me, you know. Or, you know, I, we've been seeing a lot from... Uh, from a uh, pendulum magician, just like, oh wow, you know, I went ahead and I uh, used my apex avion in my turn, so I gotta wait all the way back to my turn because you, you know, bait him. I pendulum summon like four monsters and apex avion. You went bottomless. My apex, I'm gonna negate that apex avion. I'm gonna turn back to my hand. Well, uh, I mean, it stopped my all my monsters from getting bottomless, but my apex avion back in my hand, so I can't, you know, pendulum summon again this turn. So you're gonna be uh, apex avion free, but and whatever super pendulum I can pendulum summon during your turn. I'm gonna pendulum summon that apex avion back. So it was. Well, it's still be a neg. It just seems like if you're going to make these kind of cards where you can do these inherent type of special summons during your opponent's turn, uh, go ahead and do one for Xyz, because Xyz seems like it'd be pretty good, you know? Just be like, all right, well, uh, you know, I'm going to activate Unicorn Effect. I'm not, I can't remember off the top of my mind if Magic Spec Unicorn says, I think you can only activate the effect of Magic, Magic Spec Unicorn once per turn, so never mind. I was thinking they said once per turn you can use the effect, which means that if you use Magic Spec Unicorn returned itself and then use your uh, pendulum to special summon during your opponent's turn and special summon it back, you use effect again, but I think you can only use the effect of Magic Spectre Unicorn once per turn, which means that if you have multiple Magic Spectre Unicorns, it doesn't matter, because only one of them is going to go off, but still, Magic Spectre Unicorn is good in that deck. <laughs> That's off topic, but still. So, I don't know. I'm not really, I really just can't think of the reason why you would take the neg just to do an XC play that you could already do without an additional neg. Anyway, if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas on how to play this card, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below because I'm just kind of lost. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And yeah, see you guys next week with some more card review. Thanks for watching.